Hi, right, this is Ralph. Let's keep working on this uh, basic queries access homework assignment. So you've got a database and there's also a set of directions and you can grab those. There's links in the video description where you can grab those items. In the previous video we did the first query which was step three in the directions and now I'm working on step number four or my second query basically and I'm saving my queries as I go here so I can easily find them later. Okay, so the next one is dealing with expired credit cards. I'm on my create ribbon and I'm going to head over to query design. And what tables do I need? This one is create a query saved as expired credit cards. It shows the ID, name, address, phone number, and credit card expiration for all customers. So it's focusing on customers. Some queries will require the use of multiple tables, but usually in the very beginning, I'll only ask you to use one table. So I'm going to bring my customers table in and you don't want to show you don't want to use more of the tables than what you need. And let me show a little bit more of this design grid here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Shows the ID, name, address, phone number, and credit card expiration for all customers with an expired credit card current year and any month prior to current month hint credit card expiration field is text okay so we need to we're gonna treat this as a text field as opposed to a date time field if it was a date time field in fact we'll probably try this in a more trickier homework assignment we're dealing with queries I might have you use some functions in order to determine whatever the current month is and the current year is so that way it's a little bit more of an automated procedure to find people with expired credit cards. But since this is our first queries assignment, we're going super basic here and we're just really working with text functions. So if I uh, check out this query right now, I can kind of get a feel for what the customer credit card expiration dates look like in its month dash four digit year. So I'm really interested in credit cards that expire in 2013, the current year. So I could head over and I could put in a criteria asterisk 2013 or I could just do an asterisk 13. That would be fine. And if I press my tab key, access will help me out there. And if I preview this again, notice that I'm only getting 295 results out of the 1500 customers. These are all the customers with credit cards expiring in 2013. But that doesn't mean the credit card is expired. Let's see, I'm recording this video here. It is April 19th. So, so far, several of the first three are okay, but this customer here, uh, Gilberto Alvarez, looks like his credit card expired February of 2013. So not only am I interested in people with an expired 13, but I'm also interested in if they start with a January, a February, or a March. And of course I could continue on this pattern. Asterisk 13. Oops, didn't mean to press my tab key yet. And three slash asterisk preview that. There we go. So now I know I have the 75 customers that um, have an expiration in January, February, or March. Let me just show you one little variation on this. So I'm going to just take all of these out, take that out, take that out. So I'm back to just customers anywhere in 2013. And then I could bring my credit card expiration in again. Check this out. But I'm going to not show that one, but I'm still but I'm still going to use the criteria. And for this one, let's see, I can do uh, asterisk 13, asterisk 13, and then I'll put the months over here. Um, one dash asterisk, two slash asterisk, and three slash asterisk. Now, I don't know if this is a necessarily a better way, of course, but it's just a different way of looking at it. And if I preview this, I'm going to get my January, February, and March 75 customers. Maybe it's a little neater to look at, though, because then I'm focusing on the year over here and the month over here. So I'm using the same field twice, but I'm only showing once. But the criteria is still being put into action. So just another way to go. All right, let me make sure this one is saved. 
save object as, and this one is going to be expired credit cards. I'll click OK. Now I've got my two queries. All right, next query. Create a query saved as best of the best movies that shows the... Okay, so I'm changing this up. I'm going to go ahead and close this one. Create query design. And this one's going to deal with movies, it looks like. ID, title, IMDb rating for all movies. Oh, this is just a simple number one. Pretty easy. So, I want my ID, title, 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 and my IMDb rating. 8.5 or higher. So my criteria is going to be greater than equal to 8.5. And I can run that one. And in my directions, I tell you that there's going to be about 49 movies. And sure enough, 49 movies. File, save object as. Best of the best. There we go. That one's pretty easy. And then create a query saved as best of the best new movie. So I'm going to use this same basic layout here. It shows the ID, title, IMDb rating for all of the movies with an IMDb rating of 8.5 or higher and were released after 2009. No problem. So I will simply bring in the movie year and also add greater 2009. And if I run this one, I need to be over my design, run. There were three movies. All right, Inception, Django Unchanged, and The Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so I can jump back over to Design View, File, Save Object As, and this is best of the best new movies. We're just flying through right now. So there's my four queries, and I got a couple more to work on. I think I'll tackle those in another video.